Alright there, just a little video, it's rather late here, you might hear my girlfriend munching on sunflower seeds in the background, but about four years ago I made a video about what were then known as social justice workers trying to edge their ideology, their belief system into the STEM fields, because it was becoming apparent that there's no point going to university unless you're doing a STEM subject, science, technology, engineering or maths, where you actually need laboratories or where you actually need professors to give you one-to-one -one guidance, etc. You know, it was the, the, the whole sort of communist boot camp idea was crumbling. And I ridiculed this idea. They called it STEAM. It went from STEM to STEAM. So instead of science, technology, engineering and maths, it was science, technology, engineering, art, which is essentially ideology for someone who spent seven years at various art colleges. I can tell you, the art, that's kind of a byproduct of the communist indoctrination you get. So they wanted to get into the STEM field so that they had a future and I ridiculed it. Let's have a little look. Let me show you the initiative that's interested me today. Yeah, STEM to STEAM. There you go, STEM to STEAM. What could STEM to STEAM be? Well, uh, spoiler alert, what that means is STEM, science, technology, engineering and maths to science, technology, engineering, art and maths. Right, so you saw that, okay, no problem, and that was the last I heard of it. Now, you might know of a very popular YouTube channel called Veritasium. He's just short of 10 million subscribers. You know, he's what we'd call an influencer. And in fairness, I watch his channel, makes great content. I'm into that stuff. I like to learn. Uh, they're they're well-made videos. He's very good at conveying very, well, certainly more complex ideas than I can usually take on board. He's very good at explaining them in a way where I can understand them. But it got to the end of the video where he... You know, he, he does his grift, which is fair enough. He wants to earn a bit of money. That's understandable. And usually I've sort of started doing something else by then. But then I heard this. What I love about KiwiCo crates is that they make learning fun and something to look forward to. I mean, when I pull out a crate, my kids just jump at the chance to make it with me. And all the materials you need come right in the box. So there's no need to run to the store. You just open it up and go. My kids and I just built this domino machine, which, who knows, might be inspiration for a viral video. Now the big idea is that while playing and having fun, kids learn about STEAM concepts, that is science, technology, engineering, art, and math. And in addition to the project, there's a magazine with a lot of additional information. And that's blown my mind. It's blown my mind, they've done it. The old long march through the institutions you know, this kind of abstract thing that was never actually organised. You know, it wasn't, they didn't sit down. The Reds didn't sit down in a circle and say, let's get into the police, the law, the, the universities, the schools. You know, it was more of a, a thing that they talked about. It was a thing they realised needed doing and slowly and cleverly they managed to pull it off and they, they're still doing it. And that is the danger of this stuff. What I was ridiculing four years ago is now delivered by someone like Veritasium as completely normal, completely acceptable. Let's get, let's get art. Let's get, let's get the art ideology. Let's get the, the Marxism into STEM. Let's fuck that up as well. Nice one. Bow. 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 Bow.